Hey guys, Chris Jarvis at Acrylic Pixel here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect a USB microphone and a webcam into the Xbox so that you can stream. Let's go. Okay, so to do this, you will need, well, uh, you won't need a table, so there's that. Uh, you will need an Xbox controller with an adapter, headphone adapter, a gaming headset with a splitter for microphone or a separately sold splitter, a Blue Yeti microphone or USB microphone and cable, a spare headset is helpful and a spare 3.5mm jack extender, and an action cam or webcam with USB cable. Take the gaming headset and remove the microphone adapter section, like so. This will work with your splitter in a different way, but you kind of get the idea if you watch the whole video. I added a 3.5mm jack to my headset adapter like so. So that gave me a bit of room where I could move around. The actual adapter is quite short, uh, so it wouldn't give you much room to, if you needed to plug that end into the microphone. I'm getting ahead of myself, you get the idea. Attach the Xbox headphone adapter to your Xbox controller, like so. Plug in your cable splitter into the Xbox adapter, like so. Plug in your spare headphones into the headphone jack of your USB microphone, like so. Attach the mini USB cable that comes with your USB microphone into the microphone, like so. The other end should attach into the Xbox, but I'm not going to film that because you can use your mind, use your imagination. This enables you to listen to your voice while you're speaking into the microphone to make sure that it's the right distance uh, and to make sure that you're speaking clearly and that there's no other sounds in the room uh, that's going to cause any disturbances. Adjust the pattern of your microphone to the cardial setting, which looks like the little heart shape. Uh, on, in the Blue Yeti's case, that's on the back of the microphone, uh, like so. And adjust the gain of the microphone again that's if it's a blue yeti or something a, a bit pricier like so the reason why you want to adjust the gain is so that it's not clipping the audio you don't want the gain to be so high that it's um, cutting off the tops and bottoms of your sound wave in essence on the blue yeti microphone you can also adjust the volume setting so that you can change the volume uh, in your headset when you're speaking in to the, uh, the microphone, like so. This is different to the gain. So the gain is the volume that's recorded and the microphone volume is the level that's just in the headphones that's plugged directly into the microphone. So they're two different things. Plug in a webcam or an action cam with the micro USB connector into the Xbox, like so. The great thing about Xbox is that most, if it's a plug and play um, webcam, then that's got a USB connector, then it will work with the Xbox. What I mean by plug and play is, if it's a webcam or an action cam, where you plug it in with the micro USB and it can charge and move data across with no drivers or software, then it should work with the, uh, with the Xbox. To find out whether or not a, um, a USB action cam or, or webcam will work, just give it a Google for your specific one. I tried my action cam in and it worked no problem. Download Twitch or log into Mixer on the Xbox. Again, I'm not gonna show you how to do that. You can Google that if you really can't figure that one out. So there we have it. You can stream straight onto Twitch or stream straight onto Mixer uh, using that setup. So once Twitch and Mixer are downloaded, then you're good to go. You can use those platforms to stream. This isn't a tutorial on how to stream over Twitch and Mixer. 
there are loads of videos for that. This was just to show you how to connect up the hardware to be able to use those two software packages on the Xbox. It's a similar process for PlayStation, I believe. Um, the main difference is being because Mixer is Xbox's own platform, uh, Mixer is a little easier to use straight out of the box. You don't need to download the app onto your Xbox. You can stream directly from the settings menu. So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my content, make sure you're subscribed. Hit the subscribe button, um, which will be somewhere. Let me know if I've missed anything, if you've got any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. I'm planning to be streaming quite regularly. I haven't quite worked out the schedule or the platform yet, so check out my Twitter um, and it will have my details on of when I'm streaming then. So come and join me using the, uh, the equipment mentioned.